before I started my PhD, I'd been working in the field for quite a few years. So I came with a very much of a practitioner background. Um, my PhD was certainly an opportunity for me to then think about how to do research within that field. So in terms of my skills, I brought very practical skills. Um, I'd already been working for a very long time, so I brought that kind of work ethic and, you know, ability to manage my own time and the ability to work with other people. I brought all of those skills with me. Um, so yeah, it was, this was definitely a chance for me to broaden those skills into research. I did it because I wanted to see whether I wanted to be an academic or not. I knew I wanted to stay in the same field. Um, it was a question of having been a practitioner for a few years with an interest in research. Do I want to now become an academic and do research myself? Why don't I want to be an academic? That's probably the question. Um, it's really hard. Um, it's very slow. It's very incremental. Um, and I, I just don't have the patience for it. You know, I would rather spend my energies putting into practice what people have learned than doing the creating the new knowledge myself and going through all of that process of fundraising um the review process you know it, it's it's slow definitely research skills um understanding universities um as businesses and what their drivers are the skills around actually what you know, what you need to do in a university to succeed um you know you succeed in academia by publishing and getting research grants that's that's what you live and die by um and i could have published more um i could have i got some grants in that was okay but it's you know i think being a little bit more proactive about that would have been a thing i should have done because my PhD was in the field that I was already working in, um, I guess my next steps were always, well, I know I want to stay in the field. So the next step wasn't, what should I do? It's more, well, it, it's not where shall I go? It's, you know, what's, what, shall I stay in academia? Shall I go back to practice? Shall I do something else? But I know where I want to stay in the field. So, um, so I think I was just always having my eye on opportunities that are arising, um, could arise. Um, after I finished my PhD. Um, so it was something that, that I sort of looked at all the time. I think it was throughout my PhD. Possibly, possibly. I don't know if an entrepreneur is the right phrase, but I'm certainly someone who sees opportunities and responds positively to them. Um, I make opportunities, you know, so I make sure I'm in the right place at the right time. Um, and that was something that you know, throughout a PhD, you do, you know, going to conferences, presenting your work, um, being open to suggestions from other people, you know, all those things. So, so I, I guess, yes. I've got my PhD. I went back into the world of practice, and that was working in science centres, museums and galleries. And I would need to work with scientists to help me develop the exhibits that I was working on. Um, and I found once I'd got a PhD, once I was Dr. Featherstone, it was much easier to get scientists to speak to me. Um, you know, a, an approach, because often it's a cold approach, you know, I'd have to be dropping them an email or picking up the phone. Um, doing that with the Dr. Featherstone, much more positive response, much easier to open a conversation with people. It was, I think it was a combination of research and practice. So having that combination was really, really valuable, even though I know that's a, you know, I was recruited into a university. Um, that all that practice that I had and all the, the outside of academia experience that I had before doing my PhD was really, really valuable and really critical. But the PhD is the thing that means that people will know that I fit within a, within a university. So it was a combination of the two. Flexibility. The opportunity, seeing opportunities and being able to respond to them um, as and when it was definitely something that's been useful for me. Yes, I think. Um, when I finished my PhD, like I said, I was a postdoc for a little while within the science communication unit and a lecture, lectureship post came up, which I applied for. And I did well in the interview, but I was ultimately unsuccessful um, in getting that role, which I was really disappointed about at the time, really, really disappointed. But if I had got that role, I wouldn't be where I am now. And I really like what I do now. So it's not a bad thing all the time. 
you know, your PhD is an opportunity for you to develop professionally. Um, it's not just about the research. So you should be thinking about your professional development all the time. So think about what are the skills I'm learning from going to a conference, from doing a poster, from writing a grant, from networking, you know, all those are important skills. So I think um, it's, it's something you should be thinking about absolutely all the time. So I work in a university which might um, seem odd to say how, how does a PhD benefit working in a university? Well, I, I'm not an academic, I work in professional services. So you might say we don't need a PhD for that. But actually my work, because I work supporting academics, um, it gives me a credibility. That means that people have faith that I know they're under their situation and that I can empathise with them um, and I understand what they're going through. You know, so it just it just causes a just means the door is a bit more open. A variety, and I get to meet academics from so many different disciplines. I think before my PhD, um, I worked with a lot. I was I was kind of a science person, um, and now I work with. You know, scientists, engineers, architects, um, humanities researchers, social researchers, health researchers, management researchers, and that, of, of, you know, just meeting so many different people and people who are, you know, like I say, PhD researchers or professors, it's amazing. Even though we are, you know, spread thinly, we still manage to make a difference and people really value the advice that we give and what we do and how we support them. My thing that I really liked about doing my PhD at UE was the fact that I was in the science communication unit and at the time, and it still is, a really well respected research unit. Um, but it's not just the research, it's that combination of research, teaching and practice. And that, that for me was something that's like, it, you know, it's absolutely kind of what I value. Um, and so it's great to be part of a unit that is pushing the boundaries, you know, and has a really good reputation and actually fits with my values. That was really important. I know that I want to be between here and here, and as long as my next step sits within that, then I'm comfortable with that, and I know that's a progression for myself. Um, so that's how I plan my next steps. I don't, I don't worry too much about exact about the detail. I just make sure I'm heading in the right direction.